Hey, you absolute legends, we're at Make Believe Studios, and in this video, I wanna jump into some of the new features, specifically in Metric Halo's version four production bundle. And a lot of these features are quality of life features. So let me show you what I mean by that. So first off, you may have seen in our previous video that I made channel strip purple. And you can go and you can change the color of any of these plugins. You can change them you know, from being a flat color to being a gradient color. There's multiple ways to go in and change the look and feel of these plugins, including knob type, which is one of my favorite. If you know these chicken heads are easier for you to see. So change the plugins so that they feel great for you and that you're as comfortable as you could possibly be in your workflow. Some people may be afflicted by color blindness or some people may have tremendous glare in their studio. And there's a lot of ways to set up these plugins so that they are easy on the eyes and very, very intelligible and maybe just more fun to look at. A lot of stuff lives at the top of the plugins and some of this stuff may be familiar from some of the make-believe plugins. If you see things like the AB as well as the blend and the ability to go backwards and forwards throughout your steps, those things have been featured in the Make Belief plugins for a while now, but are just making their way over to the Metric Halo plugins. And some stuff like the ability to hide panels and some of the resizing options, those may be very familiar to Metric Halo users already. So if you see something, click on it and see what it does. It may be surprising or it may be exactly what you expect, but Either way, I'm assuming it's gonna be useful. One feature that's been updated is the preset system. If you save presets inside of the Metric Halo preset browser, they save across all DAWs. So any presets that you may be building up inside of Pro Tools will then automatically open up the exact same way inside of Logic or Live or the Mio console. It's really, really efficient for me because I may be working on something in this room and save some stuff that I come up with while we're tracking that I wanna be able to toggle back and forth in the other room and I can just instantly pull those up because the presets save across the rigs. One additional feature for V4 is the ability for all of Metric Halo's plugins to be accurately mapped to the Yukon control surfaces in the dynamics and equalizer sections. Before, there was a little bit of issue with how those were laid out and all that's been corrected. So if you utilize something like an artist mix, be sure to pull up channel strip and try it out. It's a very pleasing experience. Another thing that's new for V4 is the ability to click on the Metric Halo logo, not only see your preferences for things like UI and graphical preferences, but you can also see an about section for the plugins that may lead you to interesting links such as product guides and manuals, but you'll also be able to see current release notes as well as the ability to download any new versions of the plugin. In the current release notes, you'll be able to see what version you're on, but if you need to update, you'll see a little red dot right above the Metric Halo logo. This is the most current version, so it's not there, but if you ever see it, feel free to check and see if you're on the most current release of the plugin. Thank you so much for joining us here at Make Believe Studios today. And if you have any questions, please let me know as we go more in depth on each one of these plugins.